Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Verb Circus. My name is Kyle Miller, and I'm here again with two exciting guests. Two guests who were a lot of fun on the program yesterday and did very well. First, we have Miguel in the red. How are you today, Miguel? I'm fine. Fine. Good. And who's who's with you today, Miguel? Uh, with me is Pilar. She's my friend. Hello. Your friend Pilar. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Good. You did very well. Before we get too far into it, let's take a look at the scores, the puntuación from yesterday. We have Miguel with 45 points and Pilar with 25 points. Okay. Okay. All right. And let's uh, well, let's get down to business. Tell me. Let's get down to business. I need to say that, Pila. Let's get down to business. All right, let's get down to business by selecting our verb of the day. Ah, it's the verb to get. Ladies and gentlemen, the king of verbs. <laughs> yes, that's right. It's the king of verbs, ladies and gentlemen. It's one of the most common, probably the most common verb in English. It's very important. We use it all the time. After the verb to be, I will say the most common verb in the English language. We use it for so many things. Remember the conjugation. How do you conjugate this verb, Pilar? Get, got, got. Every day I get, yesterday I got, lately I have got. Or, Miguel? Or you could say gotten. Gotten, exactly. Lately, I have gotten. You can say it either way. I have gotten or I have got. Very good. Okay. Before we look at new uses, I just want to remind you of some of the essential uses here. We have to obtain, obtener, or to receive, for example. To receive is passive. For example, to get an email, right? Okay. Did you get an email yesterday? Yes, I got an email yesterday. Okay. And also, obtain, more active, to get, uh, for example, to get your driver's license. Did you get your driver's license many years ago, Miguel? Yes, I got my driver's license uh, 25 years ago. Great, okay. Then, we, so we also see to get as in, to get as in to become, casarse, to get married, to get wet, mojarse, vestirse, to get dressed, for example. Okay, but now let's move on and take a look at some important uses that we're going to see, particularly on today's program. First, we see to get to. To get to. To get to can be to have the opportunity to, right? Okay. Right? So, for example, I hope I get to meet the president, right? Did you ever get to meet anyone interesting, Pilar? Anyone exciting or famous? Yes, I got to eat to meet uh -huh. some interesting people. Okay, yeah. I could say, I hope I get to visit Russia someday. One, one thing about my job that I like, Miguel, is I get to meet a lot of interesting people. I get to, I have the opportunity to, to get to, to have the opportunity to. Now we also have to get by. Our second use, to get by, which is apañarse. To manage, to get by. Miguel, do you know enough Chinese to get by in China? Uh, no, I don't speak a, a single word of Chinese. So, so give me a full, I don't <coughs> I, know enough I, Chinese I, to get by. I don't know any Chinese to get by. Enough Chinese? Enough Chinese. I don't know enough, Chin, enough Chinese to get by. Okay. Ask Pilar if she can get by in Russia without any Russian. Uh, Pilar, can you get by in Russia with any with your Russian? With it, without any Russian. Without, without, without any, any Russian. Russian. Is it possible? Can you get by in Russia without any Russian? Mm. Se puede sobrevivir. Se, se puede apañarse. I think it's very difficult to get by in Russia without knowing any Russian. Perfect, perfect answer. It's very difficult. It's true. It's difficult to get by in Russia without knowing any Russian. In a lot of countries in Europe, you can get by with English. In France, for example, you can get by with English. Can't you? Yeah, you can. Right? So English is a helpful language. English, that's why we're here, to learn English, right? Because it helps us get by in so many situations. To get by, okay? Finally, to get over. What does that mean, to get over something? To get over? Uh, I'm not sure. What does that mean, Pilar? Superar. Yes, to get over a cold. Yes. Ask me how long it takes me to get over a cold. 
How long does it take you to get over a cold? Good. It takes me about three days, usually, usually, to get over a cold. All right. Recuperarse, to get over, superar. Okay, great job. You've done very well. Let's move on now to the translation challenge. <laughs> ah, yes. That first part was a bit fast. There are a lot of tricky little uses with the verb to get, but we're going to put you to the test now with our translation challenge. Here, you will see at home, on the screen, you will see the sentence in Spanish. Vas a ver la frase en español y tres opciones en inglés y tú tienes que elegir la traducción correcta. Okay? Okay. Guys, <clears throat> no problem? No problem. No problem. Miguel, piece of cake? Pan comido, no, piece no, of piece cake? cake my... No problem. <laughs> okay, let's hear, and you, you, you remember, you'll have five seconds, right? Okay. Five seconds to okay. choose your answer. Let's hear example number one. Llegué a la reunión antes que ellos. All right, option A. I got the meeting before them. Option B. I got to the meeting before they did. And option C. I get to the meeting before them. Five seconds. Mm -hmm. Ah, here we are, Miguel. How do you feel today? Do you feel confident in yourself? Well, I don't know. Yeah. yeah? No, no problem. No, no problem. Okay. All right. What's your answer, Miguel? Uh, my answer is B. He says B. And p ask Pilar what her answer is. Pilar, what's your answer? Uh, ask her again. Pilar, what what is your answer? Yeah, what's your answer? What's your answer? The same as you. Okay, so here on the set they guess B at home. What's your answer? Did you guess B as well? If you guessed B, give yourself five points. Good job. Five and five, correct answer. But I need you to say that for me. I got to the meeting before they did. Can you repeat it, Pilar? I got to the meeting before, before they did. Excellent, good. Let's hear example number two. Normalmente es de noche cuando llego a casa. Mm. It's true. It's true. Option A. It's usually dark when I get home. Option B. Normally it's dark when I get to the house. And option C. It's usually the night when I get to home. Five seconds. <clears throat> All right, Miguel, you look you, you look good there. I think you've got it. I think you you, uh, you you have that feeling, that sense of confidence today. I like that. What's your uh, answer, Miguel? Uh, my answer is A. Miguel says A. And Pilar, what have you got for us? Also A. A as well. Now, do you think, Pilar, do you think the, the people at home, do you think our friends at home have guessed A as well? Yes, I think so. Okay, if they did, they've got five points, just like you, because that's the correct answer, A. But I need you to read that. Miguel, can you read that for me? It's usually dark when I get home. It's usually dark. Usually. 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 Remember, at home, siempre en voz alta en casa. It's <clears throat> usually dark when I get home. Great job. Okay. Let's hear example number three. Aún no me he recuperado del shock. Okay, okay. Option A. I haven't gotten over the shock yet. Option B. I didn't get over the shock yet. And option C. I haven't recovered myself from the shock yet. Miguel's got a big grin on his face. You're looking, he looking, he's, ah, I got this one. Kyle, no problem, he says, I've got this. I'm so confident here. I hope so. What have you got, Miguel? I got uh, A, A. Is it the right answer? Uh, Are you sure that's the right answer, Miguel? I think so. Are you sure about that? Uh, I'm not sure, but I think Are you think positive? So. I think so. He thinks so, okay. Pilar? Pilar says A, all right. Correct answer at home is A. All right, good job. Both of you have five points. Well done, well done, five points. Let's hear option, or example, I should say, number four. Te las apañarás. Okay, 
Option A, you get by. Option B, you'll get by. And option C, you get over it. <sighs> Was this one easy, Miguel? Uh, I think so. Okay, was it easy? Yes, I think okay, it's so. It's the first round, right? Things will get more difficult later on. Miguel, what's the answer? Uh, the answer is I choose B. B, he says. Yes. And Mitchell. she says B because this was easy. This was an easy one. Hopefully, you guessed B as well because that's the correct answer. Five points for both contestants. Let's move on now to take a look at our scores. Let's see how they're doing here. Situation. We have Miguel, remember this is a cumulative total, right? Adding on from yesterday's score, 65, and Pilar with 45, all right? So it's close here, we got a close battle, right? It's close, I like this, I like this. Okay. Okay, let's move on now to take a look at some other uses. <clears throat> okay, this is important at home. Pay attention to this. I wanna talk about the difference between get into, you get into, and then you get out of. And then get on and get off. Okay, this is an interesting lesson because they're very similar. You get into a car. If you get into a car, later you get out of the car. You get on, it's similar, but you get on things that are typically public or mass transportation, things that are big, right? You get on the metro. Did you get on the metro last week? Yes, I got on the metro last week. Okay. You get on the metro and then a few stops later you have to bajar del metro, bajarse. I have to, I got off. Got off. So I got on the metro and then I got off the metro. Did you get into your car this morning? Yes, I get. I got. I got into my car this morning. Okay, and then and then after you get into the car, you drive, and then after you and salir del coche is. I get off my car. Got. I got. I got off my car. No, no, no. I got out of. I got out. Get so out. remember, think of these as pairs: get in or into, get out of. They go together. You get something, you get into. Later, you have to get out of it. Get into. You could even get into trouble. Did you get into trouble last week, Pilar? Did you get into trouble with the police? No, I didn't get got. <laughs> I didn't, no, I, I didn't, didn't get into trouble with the police last week. Okay, good. She didn't get into trouble. Okay, so you get into things typically that are small, that are enclosed. You get into a taxi. You get out of a taxi. But you get on an airplane, right? Did you get on an airplane last year, Miguel? Uh, no, I uh, I didn't got on an airplane Repeat, last year. Repeat, I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't get. I didn't get on an airplane last year. Last year, okay. Uh, did you get on a bus last week? Uh, no, I didn't get on a bus last week. Okay. Did you get on a boat last year? A boat, no, no, Marco. No. <clears throat> I didn't get on. A, I didn't get on a boat last year. Okay. Ask me if I got on a boat last year. Did you get on a bo boat last year? Uh, yes, I did. I got on a boat last year. I got on and then I got <coughs> off. So with large things public transportation, mass transportation, things that are big, we say to get on, and then to get off. Things that are small and enclosed, we get in, we get in or into, and then later we get out of them. Some exceptions are, for example, a bicycle or a motorcycle because you're physically on it. You get on a bicycle, you're physically on top of it. You're on the bike and then you get off the bike. Bike is beefy. Bicicleta, bicycle. And the short version, we say bike, bike. I got, I, I got on my bike yesterday. I went for a bike ride. I got on my bike and then I got off my bike. So there you go. Get on, get off, get into, get out of. Important. And I hear a lot of mistakes with that. So pay attention and hopefully that isn't a problem for you anymore. Let's move on with our second round of the translation challenge. All right, friends, it's time to move on with the translation challenge. Ahora, el reto es igual. The challenge is the same, but 10 points. Instead of five, we'll be playing for 10 points, okay? 
Okay. It's exactly <clears throat> the same. You'll have five seconds to choose your answer and show me your answer at home. Pay attention and remember to repeat en voz alta, out loud. Let's hear example number one. No se me quita ese dolor de garganta. Mm. It's true. I can't get over this sore throat. That's option A. Option B. I can't get over this sore throat. And option C. I can't get over the pain in my throat. Okay. Miguel. <laughs> Really, I choose A. Miguel says A. Okay, and Pilar? Pilar says A as well. Ten points each. <laughs> Correct. Good answer. <clears throat> Correct answer is A. I can't get over this sore throat. I can't get over it. I can't recover from it. I've had a sore throat for days and I can't get over it. All right, let's hear example number two. Salgo adelante con una pequeña ayuda de mis amigos. My friend Alberto Alonso has a radio show. Do you know his radio show, the show yes, with no name? With no name. And he has a segment called Name That Lyric, where he, he, he sings a song, he translates the line into Spanish and sings it. And this is one that I created thinking about Alberto Alonso and that program, because this is in a famous song. A, I get ahead with some help from my friends. And B, I get by with a little help from my friends. And C, I get by with a little of help from my friends. Five seconds. Miguel, do you know this one? Uh, I think so. It's a famous song. Yes. It's a famous song, right? Mm -hmm. I heard it before. Okay, who sings the song? Oh. Uh, I don't remember, no, the Beatles. The Beatles, yeah, yes. Beatles. Can you sing it for me? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I, do. I can't sing. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see. What's the answer? What's the answer? The answer is B. The answer is B, Pilar. Can you sing the song, Pilar? Yeah, yeah. I'll sing it with you. I get, I get by, by with, with a little, little help from my friends. friends. Right? I get I by get with by a little... With a little help from my friends. Exactly, great, great job, great job, Pilar. I get by with a little help from my friends. Famous song by the Beatles. That's right. Great job. Okay. Ten points for both of them. Hopefully ten points for you as well. You got to know that song. All right. Number three. Tuvimos que apañarnos con pan y agua. Mm. Terrible, huh? Yeah. Terrible situation. There was nothing else to eat. A. We must get by with bread and water. Option B. We needed to get by with just bread and water. And option C, we had to get by on bread and water. <sighs> Miguel, mm. hopefully you've never had to do this. Hopefully. Oh, hopefully. You know, but uh, what's the hopefully. answer, Miguel? The answer uh, I, I choose C. See, are you sure? Are you <laughs> sure, <really>. Miguel? <laughs> Not really, but... Okay, uh. Pilar? C as well, and the correct answer is... C! Whoa. Ten points for each of them, well done. We had to get by on bread and water. You could also say we had to get by with bread and water. That's okay, but get to get by. We had to, to be most get, we had to. We had to get by with bread and water, nothing else. Let's hear example number four. ¿Por qué está tardando él tanto en superarlo? Mm. Option A. Why is it taking him so long to get over it? Option B. Why does it take him so long to get over it? And option C. Why does it take so long in getting over it? What do you think, Miguel? Oh, uh, this is a difficult one. A little more tricky, a little more tricky. Little you have to pay tricky, attention yeah. to the grammar here. You have to pay uh, attention at home. 
fíjate en la gramática, ¿ok? Ok, Miguel, what's the... Uh, my answer is A. He says A. Mm. Is he right? Is he right? I think so. He's the same as me. Ok. Now, ladies and gentlemen, do you, do you trust our guests? Do you have the same as them? I hope so, because they're right. Yeah. Ten points each. Good job. Good job. Ok. Why is it taking him so long to get over it? Why is it taking him so long? Right? Present continuous. Ok. Let's take a look at the scores here. After our second round, we have Miguel in the lead with 105. But Pilar is right behind with 85 points. Great job. We have a good rivalry here. I like this. I like this. We have a good show today. OK, let's move on with our expression of the day. All right, friends, it is time for our expression of the day. One little pause before the speed round. One little pause. Our expression of the day is to get up on the wrong side of the bed. You know what this means, Pilar? Yes. What does it mean? Levantarse con el pie izquierdo. Yeah, basically you get up and you, you just, everything is going wrong, right? You get up and you realize that, you know, thing, things aren't going well at work or at home and everything is just wrong. Nothing will go your way because you got up on the wrong side of the bed. Did you get up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? No, I don't think so. No. So I far. Don't, I don't think so. You're doing well on the show. So I think far, you're having, so you're far, having so a good who? day, right? Right. All right? Ask me if I got up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Did you get up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I got up and I was fresh. I was... Things have been going well today, right? So, to get up on the wrong side of the bed, to start... Empezar con mal pie, do you say? Or, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, to get up on the wrong side of the bed. That's our expression of the day. Good job. Well done. I think we're ready to move on, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move on to the speed round. Ah, yes. As you know, this is the part of the show that I love. It's a speed round, ladies and gentlemen. Here, this is the part where you ask the questions. I'm going to give you an answer, and you at home have to form the question. Fíjate en la frase y lo que está en rojo en pantalla. Y tienes que preguntar por esta información. Okay? And here, on the set, remember, there will be a timer. There will be two minutes. I will say go, and you'll have to press the button before being able to answer. Aquí, si fallas, vamos a prestar 10 puntos. Okay? Correct answers are worth 10, and errors, minus 10. All right, let's put two minutes up on the clock. Let's get it up there. There it is, two minutes on the clock, and let's get started. We got home at 7.30. Go. Miguel. Uh, what time did you get at home? Repeat. What time did you get home? Correct. What time yeah, did you get, get home? What time did you get home? That's 10 points for Miguel. Good job. Remember, don't press the buzzer yes. until I say go. Number two. We couldn't get by because the road was blocked. Go. Pilar. Why couldn't we get by? Very good. Correct. We couldn't get by. You could say, why couldn't we get by or why couldn't you get by? Perfect. That's 10 points for Pilar. Let's go on to the next example. I got into the taxi with Steven. Go. Miguel. Uh, who with where you... Who, who with get you... Did you get no, into the taxi? Wrong <laughs> answer. Minus 10. Pass or play. Pass or play. She's going to play, ladies and gentlemen. Who did you get into the taxi? With. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> wrong answer. Minus 10. You needed to say that with, okay, but, okay. but there was too much hesitation. Who did you get into the taxi with? It's essential, that with. So minus 10 points. Okay, let's go on to the next example. I got into trouble because I was throwing stones. Go. Miguel. Uh, why did you get into trouble? Correct. Ten points for Miguel. Good job. Next example, very quickly. 
the girls got here first. Go. Miguel. <laughs> uh, who got, who did get here first? Wrong. Pass who or got, play. Who got here first? Who got this here first? Repeat. Who got here first? Correct, that's 10 what? points. So at the very end, we have minus 10 for Miguel and 10 points for Pilar. <laughs> she luckily buzzed in right on time. Woo, that's intense, ladies and gentlemen, the intensity. I can, I'm starting to sweat here. Mm. I'm starting to sweat. Let's take a look at the scores. Let's, Let's take a look see. at the scores. 105 wow. for Mr. Miguel and 95 points for Pilar. She's coming back. It's really close. Mm. And anything can happen, ladies and gentlemen, because we still have another minute to go. Let's put another minute back on the clock and continue with the speed round. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Yes. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Ask me if I'm ready. Are you ready? I don't know. It's so intense. I don't know if I'm ready for this. It's going to be intense, Miguel. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's start the clock. He got over it by taking vitamin E supplements. Go. Uh. Miguel. How did, did he get over it? Repeat. How did, did he get over it? How, repeat. How did it, how did he get over it? Correct, correct answer. Yeah. How did he get over it? How did he get over it? Okay, next example. It took her three months to get over her illness. Go. Pilar. How long did it take him to get over mm, the illness? It took her three months to get over her illness. Repeat, please. How long did it take her to get over the illness? The, uh, I cannot give you that. Minus 10 <laughs> points. Pass or play? Uh, I think I'd play. Okay, quickly. How long did it take her to get over her illness? Correct. Oh. How, long, <clears throat> how long did it take her to get over her illness? Yes, it was her illness, not the illness, and not him. How long did it take her to get over her illness? So there we have minus 10 for Pilar at the end <laughs> and plus 10 for Miguel. Woo! Let's take a look at the score here. Let's take a look at our score for the end of today's program. We have Miguel moving ahead a little bit more with 125 points and Pilar with 85, but still in the race. Okay. It's close, it's close. Yes. This could go oh, either right. way. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Great job, I wanna thank you for participating today. Thanks for participating. You've done great at home, I'm sure of it. And remember, you can log on to our webpage, aprendeingles.com, y aquí puedes volver a concursar con las mismas preguntas del programa de hoy a través de este página web aquí mismo. Okay, I'm going to give some gifts to our contestants. Great job. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. Our contestants today will receive the Verb Circus Volume 2 on audio CD. You can get your copy at baugantienda.com. This is 10 hours in MP3 format for each of them. Thanks Thank a lot you. for watching. <clears throat> Thank Thanks you. Thanks to each of my guests. They were great today, weren't they? And we'll see you next time on the Verb Circus. <laughs>